Hi and welcome to Creatives on Speed where we talk to creative thinkers, doers and makers from all walks of life about their work and their inspirations and today I'm delighted to be talking to a good friend of mine, Jo Demorne Davies who's an art director. Hi Jo. Hello. Hi. And yes, I see you too. Um, So art director, explain to those who don't know what that is or, or what sort of sector you work in, what you do. Sure. Um, okay, so it's um, I'm a conceptual art director in advertising, which basically involves um, coming up with ideas for adverts, um, and that can mean anything from print and digital to film. Um, but the way that the world is going is obviously a lot of digital right now, a lot of um, social media and content, um, and. It also involves a lot of design work that's hence the art direction element of the work and um, we usually work in teams so I sometimes work with a copywriter Um, and yes um, I freelance so that means I work um, for myself but I go into agencies um, which is really interesting Um, it means I get to work on a variety of brands and um, a lot of different um, formats and processes so I might be working on uh, loo roll one week uh, and trying to just create some uh, Facebook adverts to creating a, a film for a, a car. So it's uh, really nice um, because you get to sort of flex a lot of your creative muscles in terms of your brain um, um, and applying a lot of problem solving to different uh, aspects of creativity. Yeah, so it's really, really varied and really sort of, you know, you're learning a lot about it and so much sort of creativity creative thinking has to go into it so let me take you back a little bit to you know when you were growing up how much did creativity and creative um, activities play a part in your childhood Uh, massively actually Um, I was always drawing when I was little Um, I think that came from my dad who was quite a artistic person anyway he worked as a draftsman Um, so I think that gave me the uh, talent or skill um, in terms of looking at things you know having an eye and being able to copy things so I was always drawing and copying and um, and then and just loving colour I was obsessed with rainbows and still am a bit (laughs) Um, so I um, always was drawing um, instead of being in front of a telly or anything Um, so yeah uh, a lot of craft used to happen when I was a a kid. And you say it was a draftsman so what sort of draftsman for? Uh, That uh, means kind of more like uh, what an architect does today um, but he would do the technical drawings. Okay, so it's like, again, yeah, super creative, but also quite, you know, lots of attention to detail as well, yeah, which, yeah. which is important. Yeah. So, um, yeah, so you, you, you're doing that. And, and was a creative career always something that you had in mind when you were at school? I get, um, it's funny, actually, when I think back, I always, because I was quite studious, but um, I always, I remember paying a lot of attention to all of my drawings, uh, you know, at primary school, you know, when you'd write a story, uh, I'd always spend a long time doing the illustration, you know, the, the, sorry, they'd just say, draw a picture with it, and I spent so long, um, and and then at uh, secondary school, art, was a big thing you know art and art a level I loved it that was my favorite subject so I knew I kind of wanted to go into it once I kind of got to that stage in my life yeah so obviously you know creativity is a huge part of you know your career journey and where you're at now and you know you're working arts director but you know there are other areas of creativity you found yourself um, exploring in recent years or during that time Oh, absolutely. Um, because you kind of, um, well, for a start, when you when you're start sort of studying like that, you're encouraged to explore a lot of areas. So my course um, at uni involved not only illustration; it was there was photography, which right. was great. So, um, you know, I learned a lot of skills. That we had a dark room at school, so I spent a lot of time in there, <laughs> and. Um, you know, um, we did uh, animation and um, and then obviously graphic design, which which led more towards the career that I do today. Um, but I haven't sort of left those skills behind because all of those uh, kind of come into what what I do now. Um, 
as an art director, you end up commissioning um, photographers and illustrators and, and working with directors. So there's a lot of um, moving image and, and working with storytelling. Um, so I think a lot, all of those elements have all kind of brought me to where I am today and what I do with my, with my job. And also outside of your job, do you find time to explore other sort of creative um, avenues as well? Because I know that's a lot, a key thing for a lot of people who work in sort of commercial creative industries. You know, it's important to keep the other personal projects going. Yeah, it, you, it never leaves you because I think a lot of the time when you do um, a creative job, it's kind of, it's part of you and what you enjoy and, and what, what kind of keeps you going and keeps you you know that that uh, motivation so um I've always gone to um exhibitions and art galleries um in my time in my spare time and um and you kind of need to still do that to fuel your creativity and your work because it's it's always helpful to see what other artists are doing or other creatives are doing and and see where their where their line of thinking is going um, and then I, you know, and, and taking photos as well, I, I got myself a really nice SLR for my travels and that, that alert, you know, that allowed me to sort of really get back into um, framing an image and, and looking through the lens in, in that way. Um, and equally, um, illustration, I still, I still do um, a lot of drawing, painting, um, I got over the over the years I've done sort of little courses here and there so I've done hand lettering and calligraphy um I've done a, a sort of a editorial illustration course and, and various competitions so they they kind of keep you going in terms of going oh well there's no brief there's no dead line as such and there's no kind of client saying we want it this way uh, you know it's it's it very much becomes a lot more about your own um enjoyment and I think that's really important because then you get to kind of remember what what it is that you um liked about creativity in the in the first place and um and then it means that the work that you're doing as your day job is it doesn't feel so uh, tricky I suppose because you go okay I can bring bring my creativity back into it I also think it keeps your ideas fresh as well because mm. you're not just going for the you know the go-to route for that particular type of ad or that particular yeah. type of product you know yeah. you're bringing in new things that you've either new things you've learned or new things you've seen into the mix yeah. I, think, I think that's such an important part of the creative process you know absolutely because we you know all the time the pressure is on for us to come up with a new idea or the most unique or the never seen before um answer and that that could could sound like quite a, a pressurized situation to be a, be with you know a blank canvas um but when you are faced with that sometimes you've got to just get on with it and do the job but um the best thing is is being able to um allow those kind of elements of of your own kind of uh, creative inspiration come come into the work and they might come consciously or subconsciously um but they must come from all of those things that you've absorbed over the years um whether it be yesterday or, or a couple of years ago <laughs> and, and do you have like sort of go-to places or, or type I mean you talked about museums and galleries but like go-to places or tricks or anything you do to, when you're you know a bit stuck on something that you go to sort of nudge your brain in the right direction? Um, yeah, it all depends, I think, on the, the context of, you know, if, you've, if you're kind of on a brief and you've got a real restricted sort of time scale or, or circumstance, then it's more about, I feel, changing your your scene, so changing your scenery. So if you're stuck in an office in, in front of a computer, I think, get up, get out of there. Um, if, if you can't get out of the actual building, then definitely move to another space, a sort of more comforting kind of area. Look out the window, I always think daylight is really, really helpful. Um, but going for a walk is a big thing for me. I think it just, uh, fresh air is is the best way to kind of, kind of almost jolt yourself out of that, that, that 
drudgery that you're in and um and getting your body moving um i don't think i think there's some science behind the idea of, of getting your blood going um it, it helps to sort of probably get the the brain in gear somehow <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. I mean, that's just that kind of nut, you know, it's that jolt you're, you need physically as well as mentally. Yeah. I think it's so important. So there's a couple of projects that you're working on at the moment, which are outside of advertising that I'd really like to hear more about. First of all, talk, talk to me a bit more about the, you've recently got into upcycling. Yes, I have. Um, that's been a kind of a, a slow burner there. Um, I, I did a course last year and upcycled a, a little table and then I gradually just little bits and pieces that I saw either around my home that I thought oh, I could do something cool with that or um you know I'd spot a really funky piece of furniture on the street and I was like oh I'll nab that <laughs> and uh, yeah it's it's been quite fun just sort of making a transformation and getting and getting tactile and physical with something so it's a lot of hard work there's always a lot of cleaning sanding and stuff but I've really enjoyed sort of painting and then um a bit of adding uh, different paper or textures or, or cool little um handles that i found so that's a bit of a little uh, sort of hobby that i'm hoping i'd be able to turn into a business in future that would that would be great um i'm just kind of trying to wait till i've got more space <laughs> yeah so it's one of those things where you just need to be able to like throw paint around and sand stuff and yeah, like, make messy. a mess <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah um and then i have another little project that um it's uh, been in the in the making out of it came out of uh, me having a, a difficult time personally and um i used to well, basically my mom was very unwell she was she was terminally ill so i used to draw her these little angel um notes um to kind of help her feel a bit better and ease the pain and just like bring a bit of lightness to what she was going through so they would be a little bit silly or a bit supportive and um then I kind of decided last year to make that into an Instagram account so um I kind of started posting them regularly as sort of uh and it's called today's angel and they they're not for anybody that's into angels or that spiritual side of stuff it's more about just um bringing a bit of positivity, um, support, hope, love, fun, and kindness, because they're kind of quite cutesy and cheeky. Um, so I, I like to think it's a bit of my personality coming through there. Um, and they just kind of uh, just sort of pop up to say hello. Um, and I've now decided to turn that into a little book. So um, the title of the book you hear it here first is going to be angels and not just for christmas so oh that's lovely yeah um so although it's it will make a nice uh, christmas gift uh, it's also a year round gift that um allows people to have a page for the whole um well sorry there's a page for each week of the year so it's 52 illustrations and supportive little tips there um to uh spread the love which I think a lot of people have um, really feeling and really needed um, after this uh, pandemic that we've all been going through um, I think that was that was the, the main motivation for bringing it out now um, because I think everyone's really um, struggled had a tough year it's fair to say and um, looking after people's mental well-being has, has been a, a number one thing and I think we all need that that's everybody and that's about looking out for your own sort of health and well-being and taking care of yourself and then also taking care of those around you and your friends and keeping keeping a little you know nudge or mind you know about other other people um being able to say hey you know I'm still thinking of you yeah, I think that's lovely. And I think that, you know, as you said, regardless of anyone's spirituality or how they feel about angels as a as an entity, it's um there's a sort of symbolism to them that it's some it's someone's watching over you and someone's thinking yeah. about you and cares about you. That's what, it, yeah. what a lovely gift to sort yeah. of give to someone to say, you know, I'm thinking of you in this way. Yeah. Um, you know, you've got someone come on, someone's got your back, you know, it's like it's it's a sort of really lovely sentiment, I think. Yeah. Yeah, I hope yeah. so. I hope it sort of just spreads that warmth around, you know, you pass it on and then you might take a photo of one of them and send it to your friend when you, you haven't got a time to send them a message. So that's going to be the whole premise of it, sort of just 
spreading the the warmth and joy yeah so what sort of um he has many responses on instagram because i you know there's often people like comment on these things have you had uh anything yeah. to share with us yeah oh, well not not like anything groundbreaking just a lot of like oh yeah great oh well, that's me or that sort of thing oh, right. cool. people sort of going you know really getting involved or feeling like that they can relate to it I think and just kind yeah. of a lot of going yeah I love that <laughs> <laughs> no it's great it's great to get that sort of affirmation and the thing is social media is brilliant for that isn't it because you can Mm. sort of put things out there and although that feels really really scary to sort of like share these things you know it's an instant kind of way of of sort of saying oh yeah this I am on something here so Uh, yeah and I mean you know I get something out of it it's nothing you know I'm, I'm not ashamed about that I enjoy drawing them anyway um, you know, it obviously it has a connection there for me personally. So there's that that enjoyment that I feel like I'm really sharing that um, that, that that something positive came out of that. And and um, and I feel like whenever someone gives says, oh thanks, that's oh that really you know I feel like I'm actually saying to them, you know, I'm thinking of you. I care about you. I can't care about everybody physically, <laughs> but I can say hello. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's great, Joe. I really, really look forward to seeing more of that and seeing where that goes. I definitely think people uh, watching, listening would be really interested. Where can they find you and your angel project if they want to have a look? I will um, post. So the the Instagram uh, account is at Today's Angel. Um, We will um, share the actual link, I believe. (laughs) Yes, in the show notes below. That would be happening. And and the the link to the shop for purchasing it. Um, And... um, my creative website is not any old joe.com yeah which i've thought is i have to say i've never said this to you but i thought always thought it was such an amazing website <laughs> name can you just ask where that came from it came from the days of when 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 blogs were the very first thing that we had to um sort of share our opinion um you know early days i started a blog not any old joe blog of course uh, yeah blogs. um because joe blogs was the obvious one but i decided yeah. to be that you know not just joe blog i'm not any old joe. <laughs> um and that's where it started from and then it's sort of for a website got shortened to not any old joe <laughs> that's good i always really loved it and i always wanted to ask you that question so i'm really glad we got a chance to, <laughs> to get to the bottom of that joe always amazing to talk to you uh really lovely seeing your face as well you so too. yeah Thank so um you. thanks very much for joining us Cool. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.